Welcome to part three of a four-part series focusing on the CFA recruit course. Recruits are from many different backgrounds, including current CFA volunteers and come from all over the state of Victoria. Operations Officer Chris Bingham, along with some instructors and recruits from the CFA recruit course, will take you through what happens in the 18-week course. How's this materials response training? It's obviously about response to sort of chemical spills or dangerous goods spills um, that requires the fire brigade to come in and actually deal with. And it's a really specialised field. So um, when we have a, a spill of a dangerous good or a chemical that can impact either the environment or the community, um, it's very often called on the fire brigade and those specialist skills include things like identifying what the product is, um, preventing the spread of the product and then more importantly recovering or mitigating the impact of the product on the people or on the environment. We set up a range of scenarios where they might have to go in and seal a leak in a drum um, and then they'll go through the decontamination process of actually coming out of the hot zone um, and working their way back into the cold zone. Emergency medical response, or what we know as EMR, it encompasses what we traditionally know as first aid, but then it goes a little bit further and also does some enhanced life support techniques and it allows us to be a first response um, to you know, non-breathing, non-conscious patients in support of the ambulance and try to provide uh, a bit more of a service to assist the ambulance in response to the community. We do a bit of a scenario, sort of day in the life of a firefighter, and we sort of try and cover off day shift and night shift. So they'll come in and they'll do their vehicle checks as they would on station and any duties um, around the station. We'll go through inventories um, and we cover off right throughout the night. So we give them that exposure to working in darkness as well before they go out on station and have their first job in the dark. We went down to the mines for the whole day. Um, in, in pretty much darkness when we did our drills um, and there was a lot of tight spaces in there um, but we worked as, as a great team together um, and we, we had a really, really good and positive day. Confined spaces is quite challenging um, and it does test your limits to what you're capable of. Very challenging but also really rewarding when you've come out the other end and, and you realise that you can do it. Um, and you can accomplish whatever the challenge is set in the tight spaces that you're uh, assigned to. BA week is when we get to learn about uh, the breathing apparatus, uh, what's involved, the mechanics, the machinery, what we're using, uh, but also the technique on how we wear it, how we use it and the importance of it as well, uh, where it's going to assist in firefighting and hopefully help you uh, save a life. It was around midway through the course when we did BA. Um, I think that was really where it, it, it went up a few notches and, and everyone sort of began to understand what was expected of them. Um, and at that point, it really sort of hit home how challenging it was going to be, but also how rewarding. The driver training um, is quite funny for the recruits because um, we get a whole range of recruits and um, of course they all come in thinking they ha know how to drive. But um, with most fire services, there's expert driver trainers uh, that come in and the recruits very quickly learn that they can't drive as much as they thought they could. And so the driver training is designed to allow them to operate and drive large, heavy vehicles in a safe manner um, in emergency response conditions. Uh, the driving side of the course is uh, challenging, a lot of bad habits to unlearn, but very rewarding, uh, realising the safer ways that you can drive a vehicle. Uh, definitely applying that to when you're driving Code 1 with your trucks. They drive sort of the streets around just teaching to the Hendon system. Once they've completed that week they then have a theory exam and a practical exam where they're assessed by one of the accredited driving instructors. I personally didn't realise that the extent to which driver training um, was held within the CFA and, and the emphasis and importance that was put on it. Um, and the amount of time that we spent doing it, uh, which was sort of six days of, of very rigorous testing and training, um, was well worth it, got a lot out of it. <laughs>